Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Davis Maddock of Sports Grid, and he's going to talk about his favorite golfers that he's placing a wager on this week on the PGA Tour. What's going on, Davis? Not much. Uh, we, we were getting close last week. Uh, Rory and Bryson were up there on the leaderboard. I really thought Rory was going to come out and fire a 64 and get there for us on Sunday. Colin Morikawa, another great winner on the PGA Tour. We really had some great golf through the first month of the season. We are now getting out of, uh, of the West Coast swing. So excited to uh, get back to some of the old mainstays heading to Bay Hill this week for the Arnold Palmer Invitational. The Arnold Palmer at Bay Hill should be a good one. And you mentioned Rory McIlroy there. Couldn't get it done on Sunday. But you're buying that at the Arnold Palmer here. This could be the week for Rory. He's plus 850 right now over at FanDuel Sportsbook. I, I don't really want to ask why Rory because, again, it's Rory. But why is this week for McIlroy? So McElroy has just this fantastic course history here. It's a it's a very odd field this week, though. So last week at the WGC, you know, we had all of the great names descend upon the golf course because that's the way that a WGC works. And this is still a strong field, but it's not the absolute strongest field in golf, which is why we are seeing Rory at uh, eight and a half to one instead of, you know, what, what do we get him at? 16 to one last week. So his number is slashed in half. But this is a par 72 golf course this week, going to play at just a shade under 7,500 yards. There are four par fives, and I think that basically just suits Rory's game perfectly at this point. Uh, he, he's not quite as yoked as Bryson DeChambeau, but he is he is the best driver of the golf ball on tour. So at a golf course that he has historically done well at, that's going to play to his strengths this week in terms of distance, I, I do think that betting Rory as a favorite this week is a strong move. Of course, history says Rory is in store for a good week. And of course, as well as he hits the driver, as Davis mentioned, as well as anybody on tour, he's in store for a good week. Eight and a half to one. Certainly not that 16 to one number that we had last week, as you mentioned, Davis, but still a good number worth putting something on over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. Up next for us, going all the way down to 38 to one, is Will Zelatoris, uh, plus 3,800, as I said, at the FanDuel Sportsbook. Why does Bay Hill make a lot of sense for him to place a wager on? So, Will Zalatoris, I, I, I do wish the number was a, a smidge better than this. And maybe if you wait for the rest of the week, uh, maybe you're able to get him at 40 to 1. Maybe you'll be able to get him at 45 to 1. But uh, this is not the first time we've talked about young Willie Z on, on the show this week, thinking that he is, uh, I just think he's a really strong golfer. And he's continued to string together some good results on tour. No wins on the big tour yet. But I do think that theoretically, Bay Hill should be a really strong fit for him. Gonna gain strokes off the tee. Gonna gain strokes with his long irons. I'm interested to see how he plays on some of these par fours where they try and take the driver out of your hands. I think that because he is so strong with his long irons, he should be able to, you know, club down to the three wood, club down to the three iron off the tee, and be setting up a fair number of birdie chances this week at Bay Hill. As you mentioned, we've talked about Zalatoris before as somebody that you're in on here, that find that future stock on Zalatoris going forward, and you hoped maybe he'd be better than 38-1 to get at 40-45. Maybe you will as we get closer uh, to uh, the opening of the first round here on Thursday. But Zalatoris, a name that you like, a name that you're after and you're chasing, and you want to be in on that first win whenever it is, and maybe it's this week at Bay Hill. One final golfer to get to, and he has the longest odds that he's Golf that we're speaking about this week at plus 10,000. It's your boy, Keith Mitchell. Yeah, kill it, Keith. Uh, so he is a Florida only guy. You know, the only time that we want to bet him is at these Florida events. His only win on the PGA Tour came at uh, the Honda Classic, a Florida event. He does have the lone one solitary win on the PGA Tour. His form right now, absolutely brutal. So we are definitely going to be getting, you know, quite a deep number on him. But he again does fit that bucket of guy where he's going to gain strokes off the tee. He's going to gain strokes with his long irons. Uh, and I know that his form is is just absolutely brutal right now. So I'm definitely going to be doing a smaller, you know, not a full unit wager on him here at uh, at 100 to 1. But getting Keith Mitchell in Florida on a long track, you know, a, a similar track to events where he has done well in the past. We are going to fire a small little wager on our guy, Killa Keith, this week. A little sprinkle there on Keith Mitchell at 100 to 1 because why not? He's won an event here in Florida before. Form hasn't been great as of late. Really looks terrible. But playing in Florida at 100 to 1, 
Kill a Keith. Why not? That's going to do it for us here at the FanDuel Hurry. Davis, we appreciate the time. Enjoy the tournament this weekend. Hey, thanks for having me. And uh, excited to watch some beautiful golf and hopefully cash some Rory Bucks at the end of the weekend. We'll just cash any bucks. We don't care if it's Rory or, or Kill a Keith or, or somebody else. We are in on just cashing over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. Join us tomorrow as Erin Dolan will join me as we think about, take a look at her favorite bets of the night in the NBA. For Davis Maddock, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the tournament this weekend, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition. The fans will hurry up.